wow, this is interesting. So we've got we've got four rooks. So, and this is checkmate. Hey guys, today I'm going to be solving some more proof games. So thank you to everyone who sent these in. And as a reminder, or if you're new here and don't know what that means, basically the, the small position that you see in the bottom right, that is somehow that happened from moves that white and black played. They're not going to be good moves. They're just legal moves. And I have to figure out from the starting position, how did that happen? And so that's what I'm going to be doing. I have five positions I'm going to be going through. If you want to follow along and practice along with me, you can pull up an analysis board just like mine, leechess.org forward slash analysis. But having said that, let's get started. Okay, so for this first position, uh, let's see what's going on. So there's four knights. That's the first thing that's jumping out at me. So that tells me that two of the knights probably landed here. And then I'm assuming that these two knights probably captured. Same thing on here. So it's symmetrical. So I guess white's doing the same thing that black's doing. Probably hopping the knights around, taking everything. And then these pawns come in for the... The knight promotions is what I'm guessing. So let's think about how should we start this. These are going to get captured by the knights, so I don't need to move those. These are going to get captured at the very end. The knights are obviously just going to be gone. So really, let's see. What What's the pieces that actually get... Really, it's just these pawns, right, that get captured? And all the other pieces are going to get captured sort of along the way. So... All right, let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then those knights could capture. But I don't want to capture those, so I guess we could just go like this. Leave the bishops and then allow the pawns to capture. All right, so let's try that. And we'll just mirror the moves for now. We'll take this one. Black will take this one. And then we'll do the same thing with this knight. And then these pawns need to go at some point. Oh, okay. So that's a little bit tricky. How do the pawns get past each other? Maybe this pawn has to capture at some point. Maybe that's the trick. Okay, let's let's actually restart because the problem I have now is these pawns are just going to be blocking each other. Right? Yeah, that's a problem. So I guess I could use these pawns actually. But that looks like it's going to take too much time. Yeah, I think it's going to take too much time. Or is it? Yeah, I think it is. Let's go back. I think I messed that up. So, let's let's do did we start with the pawns just to get those in the right position? Maybe that's easier. Let's go. Let's do it this way. Let's push the pawns. We'll take. We'll take. And now I can do the same thing with these pawns just to get them in position. We'll take. We'll take. So those are ready to capture the knights or to capture the bishops for knights, which means all I need to do now is get these knights to here. And these knights to here. And then everybody just takes and we're, we're happy. So let's do that. One, two, three. Yeah, should be pretty straightforward. No checks that I need to worry about. Takes, takes. And then these knights come in. Takes, takes. Okay. And now we can capture. So we'll... Go here for a knight, here for a knight, here for a knight, here for a knight. Cool. Does that match? Looks like it does. And how many moves did that take me? 16 moves. Let me make this the main line. All right, 16 moves. Let me check the solution and see what the solution was that this person sent in. All right, so I've got the solution pulled up, and I'm noticing that the solution is 17 moves, and mine was 16 moves. So... Somehow I saved one move. Let's see what the solution was, because I'm really curious how I was able to do it one move faster. Oh. Is that why? They did en passant. Then the knights came in. OK. 
Okay, they did the same thing with the knights. And then they pushed these pawns. Uh, so, the way that I did it, let's just compare this because I'm, I'm curious. How many pawn moves did I make? One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, I can't count today. One, two, three, four, five would be capturing. So if you do en passant, does that add an extra move? Is that what's going on here? Brain's not working today. Because so, somewhere there was one move that was lost. That's what I'm confused about. One, two, three, four, five. It was white's move, right? It was it was playing this move that wasn't necessary because this black pawn could have still captured and, and got there. That's what it, yeah, that's what it was. So it was it was white wasting the move right there, and it was black wasting this move right here. Those pawn moves weren't necessary. Mm -hmm. And then everything else should match up. Yeah, like these pawn moves were efficient. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, uh, very nice position. That was fun. Um, and it looks like 16 moves is probably the fastest that we can do that one. Let me go to the next one. Okay, here we go. So, interesting. We've got the pawns completely stuck. And looks like the king slid over for some reason, probably to capture the, like, the last piece. So, basically, we have to take all the pieces, leave the bishops here, and get this pawn stuck these four now how did these four get here so let's see this pawn had to have captured two things and then this one went forward or this one went forward and captured and then this one captured so interesting okay And Black's pawn at some point did that. That could happen later. So let's think about this pawn cube first, because that's probably the, the tricky part of this. So white needs to capture... I think this would be easiest. Just capture two pieces with the pawn, and then push this forward, and then push this forward. All right, so which pieces do we want to capture? Would be the first question. This And by the way, this one has to go over here. So we could capture... Let's see, a knight or a bishop, but I don't want to move this and let the bishop out. So I do have to be kind of careful here. This stays here. This pawn definitely needs to get moved. So I guess we could start with that. That's probably a safe move. A4, H5, A5 and H4. Seems like it could be smart. And let's see. I could even use the rooks. Oh, this is interesting. I'm not really sure the best way to proceed here. Um, oh, I guess I just thought about something. I could play g4 and then... No, I can't. Never mind. I need to pawn on g2. What am I saying? All right, never mind. Completely uh, ignore that. Yeah, let's just do this. I don't know if this is going to work. I might have to restart this one. I'm, I'm having a hard time here. Let's just see if this makes any kind of sense. The black takes us. Actually, let me work one here. We take that. Black takes us. Okay. So, we've got that pawn. Now we need to get the other pawns. We also need to get the rest of those pieces out somehow. This needs to happen right away because I need this bishop to get out. So how does that happen? What piece goes there? What piece goes there? And also the rook needs to get out of here. Hmm, how do we do that? How do we do that? This is tougher than I thought it was going to be. Uh, not gonna lie. I thought this one was gonna be easy, but it's it's not that easy. Okay, so the problem is getting the pieces out 
but also thinking about the pawns. Because I can't really play like e4 to get the bishop out because then I, I can't do this. So, and I can't play g3 to get the bishop out either because I need that pawn to stay there. Maybe a knight takes it. Or, let me go back to the beginning. If a knight doesn't take this bishop, then this pawn has to capture right away. So what does this pawn capture? It's not the pawn, because that's still there. It's not this bishop, because that bishop can't get out. It could be a rook, it could be a knight, or it could be a queen. But it can't be the queen, because this pawn needs to capture here. The queen can't actually get out either. I don't think. I don't know, the queen could get out this way. Okay, hold on. So maybe the queens get out right away. No, that's only black's queen. White's queen doesn't get out that way. Hum, 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 hum. So, I guess, let's see, what can we try? I'm just going to start trying some stuff because I'm I'm not sure. Um, let's, let's take care of this and this first. Let's do that. Let's push our pawn. Let's bring our rook up. And just put it there, I guess. Because I need to get those pieces out. This might not be the most efficient way, but I'm, I'm not sure what else to do. And now we can take. And we can take. Okay. Now we can start doing stuff with our pieces, like bishop here. Black takes it. Or let's say black goes here first. Uh, we take that. Black takes us. Okay. Cool. And now we can play h3, a6. These need to get pushed, so we'll do that. Let's see. The knights have to go away. The bishops can stay. Maybe the queens take the rooks at the end. So then where do the knights go? This knight can go here. This knight can go here. How do these knights disappear? Maybe the queens can take them. All right, so let's do that. Let's go here and here. Here and here. We'll take that. Black will take this. We'll push by. I think. Black will push by. Okay, we got that. Rook's coming here. Rook's coming here. The knights need to go away too. Um, let's see. All right, bring the knights out so that they can just disappear. Let's see. Yeah, maybe we'll do this. Black takes it. White brings the queen out. This rook needs to go here because it needs to get captured. This rook needs to go here because it needs to get captured. Uh, so, okay, black's going to come down here. Take this guy, right? We're going to take this. Black's going to take us. We're going to take it. Black's going to move here. Oh, I'm going to be one move short, so I wasted a move somewhere. Hmm. Well, I'm going to be, yeah, this is move 21. Move 21. So, hmm. Yeah, I feel like that beginning, just moving the rook too many times was, was a waste of time. So that was 21 moves. Let's see what the solution is. I'm not going to spend all day on this one. Let's just see what the solution is. Whoever came up with this one, nice job. Uh, let's see how you did it. All right, so I've got the solution, and it is in 20 moves. So let's see how they did it. So they started with the pawn and the knight. Okay, the rook came out. The rook came over there. Okay. The knight went in. So that's what they used to open it up, the knight. Interesting. Oh, and the queen. Wow, this is not even close to what I did. Not even close. Castle queenside. 
Yeah, I guess that was a smart thing. Save some time there with castling. And then we end up with the same position. Wow. So, yeah, I think the big thing was castling and then just how they use the knights early to get the, the, the pawns open was smart. Um, yeah, okay. Nice position. I think that might be the first one that I wasn't able to figure out. So, congratulations, whoever sent that in. All right, let's see the next one. All right, here's the next position, and wow, it is completely, completely locked up. Okay, so just to get the pawns there, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten moves just to get the pawns in position. Now, some of those could be captures. Yeah, that actually would save some time if we sort of capture, crisscross the pawns kind of capturing to end up here. All right, so let's, let's think about this. And the pawns can't take any other pawns. They can only take pieces. So this bishop stays and this bishop stays. E4. Yeah, I guess what I'm thinking is like, this could go here and capture something, and this could go here and capture. So that's one example of a capture, and then this one could go here and capture two things. This could capture one thing, and this could capture one thing. Because we're going to save time if we can do that, so... Eesh. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. I just said one capture, two captures, three, four, five, six. Is that right? Okay. So if we can position all those pieces somehow on those squares, but that's not going to be easy to do, especially when there's like a rook that's gone. Right? I mean, I guess we can do that with the rook but then how do we do this then that maybe the knight or the bishop Oof. these are so difficult uh okay i mean i don't even know like should i should i just start with this capture and see what happens f3 i'm just thinking about it from white's perspective i have to also kind of think of it from black's perspective too Yeah, oof. Well, black's pawns. There's, there's like so many different ways this could happen. Uh, all right. Let's just, let's just make some moves here. I don't know. Let's put this here. We'll, we'll plan on capturing something there. This pawn needs to capture something here. Um... Let's play C. Let's play D three, I guess. And we will play D. F no, 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 no. If this is going to capture, I need this one to capture here. So we'll play D six. We will play. I guess I could play Bishop F four. I think that's a safe capture because then this pawn can capture this way. No, but I want this one to capture. Never mind. Let's not play bishop f4. Let's play... I don't know. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to look at the solution. I'm having a hard time. I'm going to look at the solution on this one. You stumped me before I even got started. All right, let's see how they did this one. e4, e5. Queen g4, queen g5. b3, d5. Oh my... Okay. See, for some reason, I was thinking of like having all the pawns capture, which is really difficult. I guess this is sort of the easy way to do it. But I'm I'm willing to bet that there's a faster way to do it if we can make all the pawns capture. I'm willing to bet that that's the case. But yeah, I could have actually tried this. I guess this makes makes more sense. And then you just kind of lock up all the pawns. Twenty moves. Yep. All right, nice position. I 
yeah, it makes sense. But like I said, I'm sure we can do it faster if you can like somehow capture the pawns across, but that's very difficult. All right, let's see what's next. All right, I think this is going to be the last one, uh, but wow, this is interesting. So we've got, we've got four rooks. So, and this is checkmate. So I'm, I'm assuming the last move was like a pawn capture right here. I'm assuming. So the pawn comes down, uh, comes down here, takes, takes for the checkmate. Okay. And I'm looking at it from the wrong perspective. Actually, let's flip the board. There we go. All right, so white's perspective. So this pawn comes down, takes, takes, sorry, takes, takes, checkmate. Okay. We're missing only these four pawns. Black has two pawns alive. Everything else is gone. And the queen is still there. Okay. Well... I know that this needs to happen, and I know that these pawns need to move forward, so maybe we can start with that and see where we end up. We know we need to take here. Black's going to put their pawn there. We know we need to take this and get a rook. Okay. And these need to go away, which black can do, I guess. Probably. What can black do that with? Maybe a knight while I'm doing my other stuff with the other pieces? Yeah, let's do that. Black's going to go and take these pawns for us. And we're going to start taking everything. Well, first let's... Hmm. I want that to be the last move. Uh, I guess we'll start taking things with this rook. How about that? Let's do this. Black can come over here. We'll take this. Oh, you know what? I'm going to have to move that pawn probably because that's going to be a problem. All right. Say black moves that out of the way. That should make our life easier. Now let's start pushing this. Black's going to take this pawn for us. Uh, we need to capture this guy at some point. So let's just do that. Black's going to... Bring his bishop out. Take this pawn in a second. We'll, we'll go here. Uh, but I don't really want to... No, I'm going to have to take it anyway. All right, it's fine. I'll take it. Let's see. Black's going to do what? This knight needs to go somewhere. Probably here, because that's where I'm going to be going back to. So let's put the knight there. We'll take this. Move the knight there. Move this rook. Black doesn't really need to... Oh, this pawn. Totally forgot about the pawn. Yeah, this is taking way too long. This isn't going to work. I mean, maybe it's going to work, but I don't think it's the fastest solution, I guess I should say. All right. Black's got to do something. Let's go here. Let's take that. Let's take... Oh, it's Black's turn again. What's Black going to do? I guess push this. Take this. Black has to do something else. Let's go here. I don't know. I'm just wasting time. Yeah, we're going to have to waste some moves here. This was not a good solution. Okay, we go back. Take this. The rook goes here. And we capture. Oh, it's not over yet. Yeah, I messed up somewhere. All right, let's think about this. I'm already at 20 moves. These guys aren't even in position. All right, we got to restart. We got to restart. So I wasted a... Let's see, where did I waste all my moves at? Right here. Like this rook. The rook's kind of moving away and then figuring out how to get rid of all of black's pieces and these center pawns. So we need a good solution for that. How do we get rid of those center pawns easier than I did? And all the pieces, really. What if... Here's an idea. What if when the pawn is going down, it's like taking stuff. Like that. One, two, three, four. That might be a nice solution to get rid of some stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's play A4 and B5. And just start giving away the pieces right away. Yeah, there we go. 
that's got to save some time. And then we can actually do the same thing. Oh, it's Black's turn. Uh, let's see, what does Black want to do? Maybe move these guys now. That definitely saved some time there. Still have these center pawns. All right, let's go this way and try to do something similar. G5 takes, knight here takes, bishop here takes. Okay, I think we're, I think we're on a better start. This pawn has to move. Let's go ahead and take this one. Get a rook. Black needs to finish pushing these. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's see. I don't think it rid of these, though. How do we do that? Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay, hold on. What if black does this? We go d4. Black does this. We take here. Black takes here. We go here. And black moves. We take. Black takes. Yes, there we go. Let's take this. Black goes here. What move are we on now? 14. Yeah, doing much better. But still off by one move. So I'm going to have to waste a move. So if I take this, then, then black has no moves. So I need to waste one move. Let's go here. Black moves. We take this. Black goes here, and we take this for the checkmate. Okay, cool. That was 17 moves. Um, I suspect I might have wasted a couple moves, but that seems pretty good. That seems pretty good. So let's check the solution on this one and see how we compare. All right, so here's the solution, and the solution is in 16 moves. So they beat me by one. Um, okay, and let's see how this happened. All right, so we finally figured out part of it with the pawns capturing. And there must have been something that happened... Yeah, so that's what they did. And I, I must have wasted a move somewhere with those pawn captures. Huh. You know what it was? It was that it was that extra wasting of a move with the rook that I had to do. Huh. Yeah, so that one little tempo somewhere along the way changed it. But alright, cool. That was that was that was kind of cool with the, the rooks. I like that. All right. Uh, well, that's going to do it for this video. I was going to do like one more, but uh, it's it's already becoming kind of a longer video. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that and had fun. If you haven't seen the previous uh, proof game videos that I did, I'll link it over here. But as always, stay sharp, play smart. Take care.